Come on, let's go. Hi guys, welcome back to the 720 Wellness Challenge. My name is Lise and I'm outside today because we're gonna talk all things step challenges and step counting. First up, we're gonna get your goal, we're gonna make it personal, and we're gonna set you up for success so you can hit this each and every day and maintain it moving forward. But remember, it's gotta be a challenge. I'm gonna give you my three tips and tricks as how I stay motivated and try and hit my steps each and every day. So first off guys, setting your personal step goal. It might be a daily goal, which is great. Break it down for you, but you may also wanna give yourself a weekly step goal as well. Just in case life throws those curveballs at you, you don't quite get out there one day, maybe the weather's not kind to you, which it definitely isn't today, and you miss a day, which means you can still catch it up over the weekend or one of those days you got a little bit more time up your sleeve to go out there and go for a big walk or be a little bit more active and get those steps up. So we always hear that big, sexy 10,000 steps a day number. Now, if this is an achievable goal for you, remember it still wants to be a little bit challenging, but if this is an achievable goal for you, go for it. Head it, 10,000 every day, get out there, get active, get moving and hit those steps. If this is really not on your achievable spectrum right now, that is totally fine. What I want you to do is try and increase your steps. Maybe it's by a thousand a day, or maybe you wanna look at 5,000 for the week. Break it down, just give yourself an increase, and then make it a little bit challenging, remember, but so you can just push yourself to be that little bit more active. Now, once you've set your goal, my three hot tips for you to make this really sexy, to make it really attractive, and to get you out there and get you moving. First up, make a plan. It is a hot date and I want you to lock it into your diary so nothing else can come in between you and getting your steps. So put it in the diary, do everything you can to keep it locked in there and to make sure that nothing gets in the way. Obviously, as I mentioned, the weather, life's curveballs may get you, may throw a few challenges in there but do everything you can to lock it in and keep it in there. And remember, like I said, this is why it's really good to have that weekly goal as well, in case one day you don't quite hit it, you can catch it up on the weekend. Number two, make it pleasurable or attractive. So I'm gonna give you four Ps and one L to try and help you with this one. Now, pets. Get a pet, get your dog, get out there. They love walking, they're the best motivator. Get them out there, hit the trails, hit the pavement, whatever it is, but get your pet involved and get them walking as well. Two is people. Grab a friend, a partner, someone in your family, and instead of just ringing them and catching up on the phone for half an hour, 20 minutes, go for a walk instead. So you can catch up, you can chat, and you can get that good quality timing, but get those steps up as well. The second part of the people piece is Make it a friendly competition between your partner, your family, your friends. Start a bit of a step competition. Who can hit their goal? You don't all need to have the same goal, but who can hit their goal daily or their weekly step count? Or maybe you're just gonna go for max steps. Who can get the most steps each day or each week? But make it a bit of a friendly competition because there's nothing that will keep you more motivated than a little bit of competition. Number three, our third P is playlists. Now, this is a huge one for me. Music is motivation. So you will find, find a really good playlist. There's plenty on our Virgin Active Spotify. Log in, find a playlist that is gonna get you moving. And you may even notice that your pace will increase. You might even get to go a little bit further or a little bit longer without even realizing because the music's pushing you. Our fourth P guide is podcasts. There are so many amazing podcasts out there now that you can click into. And this can not only be your little time to learn or hear about something new or something different, but it can be your time setter as well. If you pick a 40 minute podcast, 20 minutes one way, you turn at half time to make sure you get that whole podcast episode in and you get your walk done at the same time. We have some great ones on our Virgin Active Active Minds podcast. Jump on there, there's some incredible interviews and it'll keep you moving and you might even learn a few things too. Now we've done our four Ps, our L, 
is location. Make it pleasurable by going to an enjoyable location. Now, I'm very lucky, as you can see, got very close to me is the coastline. I have amazing trails and boardwalks all along the coast, so it really does make it really pleasurable and enjoyable for me coming out and seeing the ocean and getting out, you know, in nature. But if it means, guys, you need to get in your car to drive five or 10 minutes to go for your walk, do it. Go explore somewhere new. Ask around of people that live close by to you where some good trails or some good walks and you can get out there and explore somewhere new whilst you do it. Now my third one is to reward yourself. Treat yourself. So go for a walk and get a coffee. Get a really nice coffee or go out there and get yourself some breakfast or a little bit of a treat. It's all about that balance. But if you go for a walk, give yourself a little reward, whatever that may be. And it might be as simple as ticking it off your to-do list or watching those steps click over on your watch or your smartphone, whatever it might be. But make it rewardable, treat yourself in the meantime so you really enjoy it and it's gonna keep you going. Now guys, that is all from me today. I've set your goals, we've given you the tips and the tricks of what you can do to make this enjoyable, to make sure that you keep going and keep getting your steps up. So I'm gonna leave you there, but take some snapshots, take some videos of where you're walking or you hitting your step goals or your step counts, tag us, and hopefully I'll see you back on the challenge soon. Get out there and get walking, guys.